Welcome back everyone. I want to um, do a video today, a quick video on how to uh, reinsert duck feet that have been removed. Um, I always take the feet off my birds and inject them and paint them. And then I'm going to show you how I put them back on. I know a lot of people are kind of anxious or, or nervous about doing this because they're afraid they won't get it right or whatever. Uh, first key is make sure your uh, little hind toe here points towards the center of the bird. So that's how you know which foot goes on which side in case you forget. Um, right here, if you can see, uh, is the leg skin inverted. Okay. So what I'm going to do is uh, take a, a pair of tweezers and stick them, stick them inside that leg skin and push it through. Okay. Alright, see if you can see this on the outside of the skin here. Alright. And what the purpose of this is just to hold that leg skin open and give me a, a good alignment running my wire through. So when I um I may have to sit the camera down here for just a second. So after I've got the hole opened up. I'm going to insert my foot. I, now notice I just tape the uh, wire to the leg bone with uh, some electrical tape. Some people uh, wrap it with thread or whatever, but this, this seems to work well. And this smooth electrical tape will allow the skin to slide up and down uh, this leg bone. So I'll show you, show you that in just a second. Okay. So let's see if I can do it without putting the camera. I'm going to put the camera down for just a second. Okay. So, all I did was slide that wire through that opening uh, created by my forceps or tweezers, whatever you want to call them. I call them forceps. I'm a, I'm a chemist, scientist by trade. And um, that's what we're taught that these are to be called. So. Okay, so once you get that in the in the hole, you can pull it through, pull the leg skin through, or pull the leg bone through the leg skin. And sometimes it's a little tight. You may have to kind of work it a little bit. Okay. And these feathers are pulled through, but I'll show you a little trick to, to get that fixed. So what I do is go ahead and run my wire into my mannequin, and then I'll take this leg skin and slide it up and down the um, leg bone a few times, and that'll work the skin back toward the outside. And then if I need to uh, pull it out, you know, a little bit there at the very end, I can use my um, tweezers. But, but for the most part, once you slide it up and down a few times, uh, you'll be fine. So... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the camera down again and just insert this wire into a pre-drilled hole in my mannequin. Okay. So now, I'm just going to slide this skin. Just work it up and down the leg bone a little bit. Okay, now that skin is, is re-inverted, <coughs> excuse me, re-inverted itself to the outside. And uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to stop the video for a moment and uh, just go ahead and do the other side, cinch down my leg wire, and then I'll come back and show you uh, what I do on the outside to blend the transition from the, the skin to the leg. Okay. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, inserted the other foot, uh, cinched my two leg wires down, um, and I'm going to turn my attention to the outside of the skin. Okay, as you can see, this leg skin is completely re-inverted, and it'll fit up nicely um, right to the edge of the, 
the skin from the leg. Okay, so this is the feathered part of the leg skin. This is the scaled part. I'll, re I'll refer to it that way for clarity. So I'll pull this feathered part of the skin up to the scaled skin where they meet. And you can see it's it makes a nice, uh, it fits up nicely. And when you groom the feathers over it, it'll, it'll hide it automatically. But I have uh, in the past had this... Um, this union uh, kind of pull apart and depending on the leg attitude um, I've been, had a little problem and, and uh, you know been able to actually see this so what I what I now do is just take a little zap -a gap and I'll put a little zap -a gap in here all around careful not to get it on my feathers and then I'll pull this uh, feathered skin back and just tack it I'll just use my my tweezers and tack it where it goes okay and you'll have to pay look pay attention to your alignment uh, make sure you got it kind of lined up right and then put your uh, put your zapper gap on and uh, and then pull pull your skin back just just hold it in place just a second where the zapper gap will, will um, I'll grab hold and then the, the only thing that's left to do is uh, go ahead and sew the bird up and pose it um, occasionally, if you're not real careful, you'll get a bad looking, um, this skin right in here, these feathers will get all twisted up. So pay a little bit of attention, um, while you're doing it, that you keep this, this lined up, you know, the front, the front, the back, the back, so to speak. And, uh, it'll usually, uh, it'll usually look pretty good. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... Okay, so I haven't even glued this one down. I'm gonna wait till I cut the camera off for you. Let's see. Let it see. All right. So as you can see there, it's a pretty good. I mean, that's with no grooming, no, you know, no, nothing really done to it except this leg kind of pushed into place. It's gonna be a flying mount. Um, so uh, I hope this this video is helpful as far as uh, showing you how to. Um, to reattach the legs once you've once you've detached them and injected and painted them, uh, to me it's a it's a much easier process than trying to keep these legs attached and injecting them. You know, you get injection fluid on your feathers, and um, you know when you try to paint, you get paint all over all over your uh, feathers if you're not real careful. So, to me, it's it's a better process, um, and I, I tend to do it pretty much every bird I mount. Um, with very very few exceptions, I'll leave the I'll leave the feet on a pheasant or uh, you know upland birds like grouse and, and and stuff like that. But waterfowl, turkeys, uh, especially I'll I'll take them take them off. Uh, if this video is helpful, uh, I'd appreciate it if you would just subscribe. Uh, and that way uh, you'll get a on your YouTube feed you'll get a a notification for every uh, video I post. I plan to do a bunch of these in the future. Uh, and uh, hopefully as we go along, I can do some better quality, uh, get a better camera maybe, and uh, we'll see, see where it leads. But, uh, and tell some other people about it too. If, if you like what you see, uh, be sure to share it with your, your friends on Facebook or uh, people in the taxidermy community that you know. Um, but uh, again, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.